Hallelujah. Somebody shout Hallelujah. Somebody shout Praise the Lord. Somebody shout God is good. All the time. And every time. God is good. Amen. I want you to turn to your neighbor and make sure that they understand how good God is. Amen. Make sure they're smiling. Make sure they know. Amen. That this is the place that God is going to come down. So if you think that you see that they're not smiling, something is wrong and something is up. Tell them God is good. All the time. And every time. God is good. The thing has been waiting on to you tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Jesus, we give you praise tonight. Hallelujah. I don't know what's your problem tonight and whatsoever be the thing that you are going through. I just want you to know that God is here. And I want you to know that He will never give you more than you can bear tonight. And He's able to take you through. Amen. Amen. If He took, hallelujah, all the people of Egypt, amen, and even Moses through that sea, through that Red Sea, amen. He's able to take you through whatsoever battle, whatsoever trial and testing you're going through, God is able to take you through. But give him your heart tonight, as this word said, he said, give me your all, and I, the Lord that God is going to give you your heart's desire tonight. Give him your all, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus, Son of David said, hallelujah. Who is the King of glory? He said, the Lord God Almighty that is great in battle. He is mighty and strong in battle. Amen. There is not an account in the Bible that proves that God failed. Amen. Every account in the Bible proves that God always has the victory. Amen. God's saints always have the victory tonight. Amen. And I want you to shout, thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, tonight, God, I give you praise. And tonight, Father, right now, I give you glory and honor. I invite the Holy Ghost to lead, the Holy Ghost, the God and Director. For my God, this day, Father, we need you. We need your presence and your anointing to take over. Let the glory of God descend, oh God, from pulpit to pews. My God, take in worship, oh God, to a high level tonight. Set us free from the inside out tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise. We give you your praise, we give you glory, we give you honor for doing it, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for victory. Victory is mine, mine.
is not all of the Jehovah's. Those were just titles by which God gave them the calling because the name was too sacred to give to them at the point in time. But God established his kingdom on his son for his son to reveal his name. I was clear tonight. That's why he said, I am come in my father's name. Come on, somebody. The first time the name is established on earth. Come on, somebody. Give the Lord the platform. So since I started for the kingdom, since my life he controls somebody, and since I give my heart to Jesus, the longer I serve him, the sweeter he goes. For the longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. And the more I love him, the more love he bestows. Each day is like him, when my heart overflows. For the longer I serve him, yes, the longer. It's the longer I serve him, the least sweeter he goes. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Everything he is supplying. Thank you, Jesus. Let his grace he bestows. Hallelujah. And every day. My way grows brighter the longer I serve him, the sweeter he goes. Somebody say it again. For the longer I serve the sweeter he goes. And the more that I love him, the more love he bestows. Each day is like him. Overflows for the longer I serve him, yes, the longer I serve him, yes, the longer I serve him. Hallelujah! The sweeter he grows. Something about Jesus. Jesus is like my madness. I you sitting here tonight. I don't know how you value Jesus. But he's like my madness. He just pulls me all the time. I said, I said he pulls me all the time. You know? I can't understand totally or even express what he has done for me. I see. Sometimes I try to beg him for my whole life as a testimony. I'm still here. The kind of things that God has done for my life. I should not be here. I was destined to somewhere else. I was entertaining, singing the nightclubs. I was a gambler on every gambling table that you could find. And I never thought about Jesus. You know, I was religious all before that. And my parents were good praying people. My mom and dad, they prayed for me. You know, they called me the black sheep of the family. I used to tell you. But I had all the fancy cars. Those who press the button and the whole roll back. And the ladies sit around and the good type of scotch that you could have, come on. And sometimes when the police stuff that I do them over. And that's all right. Is that all right? But my mind was never on the Lord until one day. One day my younger sister was possessed. And they sought help everywhere. But it was not. 
all types of men of God came, but there was no help. And the church we attended, they said demons is not real. And they said the gifts of God is not real, it's not for today. All those things died away a long time with the apostles. Are you still here tonight? And so they took it in their mind that she was insane. She needed to go say that. She needed to see a psychiatrist. And I thank God that day happened. I said, I thank God that day happened. Because I came to know the one true and living God. I met with him face to face. I met with the devil face to face. And for the first time, I had an experience. Are you still here tonight? Such experience that it made me sign off the contract that I was about to sign to go to the U.S. to sing in the nightclubs. And I gave it up. And you know it was Holly B. Tony and Sam Grandy, this week, both of them this week. They were my managers. And they said to me, you sure what you're doing the right thing. You sure you know what you're doing. I said, well, if I don't know, I'll know sometime. And that's what I could see. I had nothing more to say. Because I couldn't understand what was happening inside of me. And what really took a hold of my life. Are you still here tonight? I said, are you still here tonight? But when I found out it was Jesus, I was so glad that he took control of my life. Come on, somebody. Because I turned away from those things. And I gave Jesus all the glory that I could sing for him. I can preach for him. Amen, is that all right? I can see souls saved for him. Is that all right tonight? And I can go on for him. Places that I've never been. Because God still holds the future. And he got a plan. Is that all right tonight? Come on, give the Lord a good clap over for him tonight. Hallelujah. Tonight is going to be a short night. It's radio night. And the prophet will be on the air. He may say, all right. So he's going to leave shortly, but I want you to prepare yourself. He may say, all right. Just prepare yourself to receive from the Lord. The faster you can prepare your hearts, that God can speak to you, can minister to you, is the quicker you're going to receive the results. Is that all right? Just open up your heart and let the Lord work in it tonight. Sit quiet, be still, forget what's going on at home, the family, whatever is distracting your mind, what's coming and going on, and just relax in the presence of the Lord. Is that all right? Praise Him. Praise His holy name. You still love the Lord? I said you still love the Lord tonight? But how much you love the Lord? Wait, 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 we're just hearing a few voices. How much we love the Lord? For thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Who's God? Who's God are we speaking about? So simple. Such many voices. For thou shalt love the Lord thy God. You should be shouting from the mountain top to the roof. Blow out when you speak about your God. Come on, somebody. All the religious speak, don't take the God like, don't let people think about the God like they come on. And you who serve the one true and living God have a mini voice. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? I said when it comes to the things of God, your voice gets soft. And when you're home and the church be even by you shouting to the top of your voice. Come on somebody, I'm still here tonight. And God wants you to shout with a voice of triumph. Come on somebody. He wants you to acknowledge the power and the authority. Amen. Come on somebody. He wants you to realize that He is God above all things. Come on somebody. Is that alright tonight? He's the Lord of your salvation. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I love him. And I'm satisfied with some things that he's given to me. It's not treasure to look. Are you still here? Because the things I look will soon pass away. And all that luxury and all the nice things you have set in your heart, it will pass away. But I'm certain I have above everything else. If I should leave here tonight, I said if I should leave this world tonight, 
I'm satisfied with what God has for me. I will do. I know. I know what God. He has a mansion for me. I see it. He has a heart for me. And He has a crown for me. Is that all right? Amen. Is that all right? Because I've been with Him so since I came in at 15. And it's quite similar to the prophet giving at 15. Is that all right? But praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm satisfied with just a cottage below a little silver and a little gold but in that city where the ransom will shine i've got a gold one that silver line i've got a just over the hill In that bright land Where we never grow And someday yonder We'll never grow up But walk on streets that Are pure as gold Listen to me tonight Don't think me poor Just a pilgrim, I'm heaven bound. And though I find no permanent dwelling, I've got a mansion, a half and a crown. Unto you. They are spirit 
our day and life. You know, glory. Jesus. And because we have the Spirit of God, we speak the words of life. Hallelujah. Therefore, you want to believe that you have the Spirit of God. Therefore, you will speak the words of life. Lord. That everything you speak is, is a confession of things to be. And of who you are. Glory. And of who you will become. And what God will do now. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Glory. Lift those hands high on the you tonight. Lift it high, lift it high, lift it high, lift it high. And these are holy hands. And we are lifting up holy hands. Lift them tonight.
by violence and evil spirits, by the mindsets and hearts of those who is not correct by my world, I will bring change and make a difference. Wait upon me, use the wisdom of my world, and I will move, say the Lord. Remember, your time is not my time. Wait on the appointed time, the season of deliverance. Behold the Lamb of God. Praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. To the neighbor said that there's a thief amongst you. And he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And you got to expose that thief. Amen. You amen. I said you got to expose the thief. You got to expose the enemy. And if, if we do not pray, we do not expose him. When to deliver so when you pray, you utilize the word and the spirit of God. You enforce God's law. Pray is also your confession. It is the confession of what you believe. Amen, somebody. Amen. Repeat after me. Say, my temple is a temple of the Holy Ghost. So many of us say that, amen. Come, 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 come. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Use this thought as an object. Some sort of an object. Let me use it as a car. Amen, somebody. And this car belongs to Cabela Lopez. Amen. He have all the documents to prove it. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And if you got an come and see what this car belongs to me, that's mine. Remember, Satan is a thief. He don't care what documents you have. A thief doesn't care what, what belongs to you. He wants to take it from you. His objective is to take it from you. Is to steal it from you. Whether it be your health, your life, your peace, your blessing, your hope, your joy, your marriage, your family, and he will use whatever means it is to destroy, to steal it. Amen. If, 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 amen, somebody. And if, and if you're going to look at this stand here and you say, well, if that guy is mine. Amen. And he, he's just speaking in fear and he's intimidated. 
he is speaking with meaning. You know when you stand before a church and you are speaking with people, they will know if you are, if you mean what you say. If you post it in an argument and you are speaking or you are calling over something, when you speak to them, they will know if you mean what you say, if you are backing down, if you are fearful. Amen, somebody. And although Brother Lopez might have all the rights and all the documents, it can still be stolen from him. It can be taken from him. Even his documents can be stolen from him. Amen, somebody. Amen. But if you don't stand up and fight and say, this guy is not moving nowhere. It's not going nowhere. This is mine. I have all the documents. I bought it. I paid the price. It is mine. And because he know he has the right and the authority, he's able to bring the law enforcers to enforce that right and that authority because he has all the legal documents stated, this is mine. Amen. And so it is in the spiritual realm when you are facing demon spirits and they come after your life, your health, your children, your family. If you are intimidated, if you are fearful, if you are afraid of riches and warlocks and sorcerers and demon spirits and you are afraid of the trials and the problems you face and you get depressed and you get intimidated and you get discouraged, Satan is defeating you. Amen. Amen. But when, when you stand on the law of God and you mean what you say from your heart and you stand, no matter how much time the thief comes, you are able to resist him. The Bible says, resist the devil and he shall flee. Amen. What the word resist means? And you know what we do? The resist arrest? Amen. And you know what that term means? Amen. If you resist arrest, what could happen to you? You get locked up. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And so it is. Amen, somebody. You are lawfully standing for your right because of what Jesus Christ has done for you. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. It might be true all of our righteousness is a filthy rag, but we are not standing on our righteousness, but we are standing on His righteousness. Amen. Because He took our place. He died for us. He redeemed us from the curse of sin. He, he, he bought back our birthright. All that Adam showed up, all the kingdoms of the earth, and the dominion and authority that, that once belonged to man, Jesus brought it back to us and greater and more. Amen, somebody. But we got a lot to resist. You got to resist the enemy. You got to put up a fight. You got to put up a fight, and you got to keep fighting every day. You got to resist, and when you keep resisting, amen. When you, when you keep resisting, the day will come when he's not gonna come back. He's gonna realize he can't defeat you. Amen, somebody. Amen. You got to keep resisting him. You got to keep. In warfare, in prayer, you got to keep determined. As believers, we we become aware of every battle we face, every bad news we get, every bad news we hear, we, we get discouraged, we get weary. You know, amen, somebody. Amen. We lose hope, we fail, and, and when we do this, we are allowing the enemy to defeat us. But the Bible says we have the same spirit of faith. Amen, somebody. And when you when you receive bad news, that's good news for your to your spirit, man. Tell your neighbor, say, when you receive bad news, enemy, that is good news for your spiritual man. Because you know why? Because you know you need a miracle. And you need God to show up. Amen, somebody. Say, if I had excuse to be visited of God. Amen, you find an excuse to be touched of God. Now God has to come down and show up. Now God has to come down and stand on his word for you. Amen, somebody. God has to stand on his word for you. Because he is bound by his word. He has no choice but to show up. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. To show your faith. Remember, faith without works is faith without works is faith without works is. And you resist the enemies of works 
your coffee. Doctor say you're gonna die, you can resist death. Whatever negative about it, who's important, you believe in the Lord. Whom is the arm of the Lord with me too? to believe the report of God's word or the report of the enemy. Amen. Amen. That choice happens in your heart. Amen, somebody. It happens in your heart. Only when it happens in your heart, then your confession can be true. We can make a false confession because we can speak something we don't believe. And I believe God will heal me, but in your heart you don't believe God will heal me. That's a false confession. Satan knows when you speak a false confession, and God knows when you speak a false confession. But the Bible says, with the heart, man believes. Let me tell you something. When you, when you believe something in your heart, there's nothing that can stop you from reaching that goal. Shut up. 
have you. He said in the name Jesus, you shall heal the sick, you shall raise the dead, you shall cast off devils. Everything. He go and see the 
Amen. You go and visit the Obia man or the spiritualist, everybody. Amen, somebody. Because you don't want to, to pay money for his children. To support them. Amen, somebody. So every time they have court matters, they attack. Amen, somebody. Some people believe in Jesus and the one to live in God. And some people believe in their culture and what they come from. Amen, somebody. They have nice names for them today. Amen, somebody. But if what they are speaking and what they are doing is not out of the Bible, not of the word of God. It is not of God. The word of God is the highest authority there is. Everything must be done in order and accordance to the word of God. Amen, somebody. How, how do we know false prophets by their message? You can you can go to a prophet ministry and see great works. But if the message is not according to the word of God, then the work you are seeing is not by the power of God. Because the Bible said there are many spirits in this world. So, so spirits can operate and manifest and show power. But does that come from the power of God? The message that is preached, the word of God that is preached. What do we preach? The gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, there are many people that have a Bible for the, for the front. The front of it. The front of it. The front of it. The pastors, prophets, teachers, evangelists. But you want to listen to the message. That's how you will know. That's why you got to know the word of God. You got to listen to what? The message. If you go to a, 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 a pastor's church and they tell you you have to go in the cemetery and mourn that stuff in the Bible. Amen.
Out spirit. Out spirit. Go! Yeah. Yeah. I am the one who goes. Go! Yeah. 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 Right now, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, right? Holy Ghost fire! 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 Holy Ghost and that's it, and God, and I'm praying. They said they, they were, were seeing the action and manifestation of the Spirit. Just come while I begin to pray, she begin to look at me angry and she was attacking. There's the Spirit behind. Glory to Jesus. Come on! Jesus, Jesus. 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 You see, that's why I have to hold up. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, let's go. 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 Come on, let